We're playing the funny video game today. It's a C tier game, but DLC came out. And of course, I gotta get on that shit. Roto to to Hello, this is Jock. What? Sorry to bother you. You're probably out searching for some nice treasure. Yeah, I'm on the top of the fucking mountain, dude. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. It's a special collaboration between our academy and another school. And would you believe it? Your name was one of the ones chosen to attend. What? Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy, though. You get to go study and experience the great outdoors off to the east in the land of Kitakami. It's a long trip to get to this year's destination, so we can't send too many students this time. You really are a lucky one, getting selected as one of the participants. Come to the school's entrance hall when you're ready to hear all about all of the details. Of course, you don't have to take part, but this kind of chance isn't likely to come again. So you should really give it a shot, of, a shot if you're interested. Hope to see you soon. Hmm, are you? Oh, you must be. You're one of the students for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was... Uh... uh do we be formal or do we just scream? We're screaming our name! Well, aren't you full of fire? You're positively dazzling. No, I just didn't want to be polite. Oh, and you even have a terror orb. I guess Polly is rich enough for resources for that sort of thing to be a common sight at school. Unless that's not the case. Are you perhaps an especially exceptional student? I completed the Pokedex. I became champion. Oh, but here I go on and on and I haven't even introduced myself. Call me... Miss Briar, I'm sorry, I'm... Oh, fuck. Dude, she was gonna introduce herself. You're the rude one here. Oh, hello. What a lucky scamp you are, getting to take part in a school trip so soon after transferring here. Yeah, I, I transferred here like... How, how many hours do I have in this game? I transferred here 85 hours ago. Sure, I'm happy to see you. I wish I could go too. You're the one who made the announcement. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Prayer. I got a bit carried away. Well, as Mr. Jock said, so, so kindly stated for me. My name is Briar. I am a teacher over at Blueberry Academy. What? That's not this DLC. That's the other one. That's a school name. Unova! Yo! Gen 5 remakes. They're confirmed. It's confirmed. We're getting remakes next year, baby. Next year. They're gonna fuck it up like they did Gen 4. This year is Blueberry Academy's turn to run our joint school trip and supervise the students. That's why I came here to collect you. We'll be heading to Kitakami, a land known for its uh, picturesque fields of and rice paddies. The place has a rustic feel, but there's also something rather mysterious about it. Oh, and we're gonna have to uncover it. You see, the same energy pre present in Polya's terrestrial phenomenon has been detected there. Whoa! I'm hoping to do some digging into the matter myself, in between my supervising duties. Though I'd also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the great crater of Paldia. Oh, Ah, yes, well, there's not much I can do about that without permission from the Pokemon League and Director Clavel. Oh, well, I go down there all the time. I can help out. I already put it on in all the proper applications. I trust I'll get a favorable response soon. Hmm, I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, I forgot about you for a moment there. Oh, yeesh. How could you? Anyway, the school trip. Think about it as a chance to continue your treasure hunt on a grander scale. To search beyond Paldia's borders. So you guys are doing two regions. I'll even provide you with a special update to your Pokedex app. If you get out your phone. <laughs> now you can go wild registering all the Pokemon you find around Kitakami 2. Woohoo. Oh, and don't worry about a permission slip from the trip. I already cleared things with your mom. Why are you talking to my mom without me? Why am I... Why do I not get informed of this shit? Usually, like, this, the teachers announce this. You get the permission slip signed yourself. You hand that to your mom, and then they she signs it. They're doing it for me. Man, I don't get to do shit. By the way, do you know the Violet book? Oh, yeah. Uh, never heard of it. Never heard of it. At all. Never. Nuh-uh. Well, that's unexpected. I'm quite sure at least one copy was donated to the school. The author of the Violet Book, Keith, was in fact an ancestor of mine. Whoa! Oh, this is crazy. I even have his original manuscript. Damn, bro, this is crazy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at how she pulls it out. 
Highest grossing media franchise. Patriots of the Black Adam made an illegible in the published version of the book. Whoa, a disc Pokemon. While separated from the research team of the creator's deaths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than a gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembles a mysterious, brilliant disc. Whoa. I have tentatively named this creature a Tropagos. I suspect that its very body is made up of the key material that causes Pokemon to shine brightly and crystallize. Wow, that's crazy. The Pokemon depicted on these pages is called Tropagos. Do you even know if it's a Pokemon? It's a mysterious Pokemon that he's allegedly encountered when he delved even further into the depths of Area Zero. Not as far as you were allowed to go in the base game. In fact, there's not, not, there's not even a path that was blocked off to you. There's just nothing. But it's gonna mysteriously get added. Not that the general public believed him. What did I... Why? They can't go in there. They can't prove it doesn't exist. It's my dream to find Tarapagos and prove that his records were all true. Though I haven't yet been able to secure permission to enter Area Zero. Oh, that's crazy. But that's fine. It'll all be fine. All I need to do now is focus on the work that's in front of me. Taking me on a school trip. These motherfucking... These are the kids... Damn, not Nimona got unlucky. Nimona isn't coming. Arvin isn't coming. Penny isn't coming. It's just me. Look like the game's all here. Four kids? What's the point of a field trip if only four people are allowed to go? Whoa, dude. Hidden treasure of Area Zero. Which is why we're leaving to go as far away from Area Zero as possible. I, I don't get that. The teal mask. Oh yeah, this looks like <laughs> this looks like Scarlet and Violet. Oh, I already I already had the game lag. That's that's not a good sign. We're finally here. My butt is killing me after all those hours sitting. First a plane, then that bus. Ah, we just had a loading screen. Well, you all survived the long trip. We haven't lost anyone along the way, dude. There's like four people. I'll, yeah, I'd be concerned if you lost someone. And welcome to the land of Kitakami. This is, a this is a stage for all the new experiences and learning opportunities you'll have out in nature. Yanma! Yo! <gasps> Whooper! It's actually my first time here too. Why, the rice fields really are just dazzling. Up ahead is Musu M Masui? Masui Town. That'll be our base of operations for the duration of the trip. We gotta go check in at our hotel. Mr. Breer, I don't feel so good. Mr. Stark! Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. All that travel must have gotten you a dose of motion sickness. Uh-oh. Why don't we pause here for a moment and take it in the sight of these fields? Oh, dude, I don't wanna. You know, fuck this kid. Why do I get a request? Could you run ahead to the community center in Masui and t let the take caretaker know we're here? Why do I have to do it? It would also be great if you could explain that one of the students is feeling unwell. I can- I, I guess I can do that. I know I'd be able to count on you. On your way then, I'll look after your poor travel buddy here. Poochiana, let's go! My god, gee, dude, Yanma is massive, dude. Hold I thought Yanma was- oh, oh. Level 55, oh my god. Alright, get in my balls! Sometimes you just don't realize how massive these Pokemon actually are. Like, look at the size of Suwaddle. That's act, Dude, I can understand why people are afraid of bugs now. If I had that thing coming up to me, I'd be terrified. 200 Pokemon. Oh, there's only 100 new ones. There's 200 total, 100 being new. Most people might, might not notice. But a closer look should reveal that there are many Geodude or- <laughs> Wow, many Geodude are nearby? Let's have a look for them, shall we? Whoa! You're right! I think I should probably pray. I was about to sit better to the community- <laughs> You bitch game. There were Pokemon there. 
And I wanted to catch them, but no. Oh my god, the game's lagging. Yep, it's Pokemon. Oh, look at these guys. Can't you tell that they're the main characters of the DLC? Sis, look, there's one now. Whoa. These people who we expected to arrive have arrived. So you're one of those students who came from the Paldea region, huh? Whoa, way cool. Oh, I hate this kid. Hush, Kieran. I'm Carmine. Sorry, but I just can't let an outsider like you wander into Mosui Town. What? If you insist on coming in, you have to battle me for- What? Come on, sis, you just want to battle. Make this big fuss- Making this big fuss over nothing. I told you to hush, Kiki. Oh, she mad. She mad. Just ignore my little brother. I'll, I'll try. Fuck you, I just want to go catch the Pokemans. Alright, let's do this. Get in position. Motherfucker, I'm the champion. Well, I'm a champion. In Paldea. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have some real good fun with you. Okay. It's a Poochiana. Welcome to Kiyakami. For your first experience, get ready to eat dirt. Motherfucker, you sent out Poochiana. Poltergeist. Nah. Uh, this, this might have levitate. Ah, uh, no, I think we can, we can just hex. Yeah. Look at this. You went and beat my sis? I can't believe it. There's no way you should have been able to beat me. I know, crazy. Fine, I guess you pass barely. Or, I guess you pass barely. Seems I got no choice. I'll let you into town, but only if you become one of my grunts that do every little thing I- Dude, I don't wanna. Boy, what are you doing causing a ruckus out here? Here comes trouble. Uh-oh. It's an old guy. Aw, oh, the old guy scared him off. What's that? A member of your group fell ill down by the bus stop? What? Dude, he, he's shocked by that. Better get over there and give them a hand. It's really not that big of a thing. Why am I... This game, dude. How the fuck did you get here so fast? Alright everyone, this is the community center. This is where you'll be staying while you're here at Kid Kami. The plan was to have you and the students from Blueberry Academy stay here together, but it turns out this space is going to be all for you. Our visitors from Uva Academy. Alright, those two kids were originally from this town, weren't they? So you come, don't be shy. Got plenty of food ready for you all, so I hope you brought your appetites. Oh boy, food! You know, I won't complain about food, even though I just ate. I will never complain about food. Oh, we don't even get to see it. Ah, uh, yep. It's a Pokemon game. I really need to take a dumpy wumpy. This is a girl's restroom? Whoa. This is the... You can't enter the fucking restrooms. This is a... Shit game. You can't enter the restrooms. I can't take a shit in my Pokemon game. How the fuck am I supposed to have fun with this game now? What's this? That's right. They got- Okay. Gender neutral bathrooms. Let's go. Morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? Starting today, you'll be joined by our two students from Blueberry Academy. Go on, kids. Time to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Carmine. Oh, these are fu the fuckers from Blueberry? Man, I don't want to go there in the next DLC. Fuck these kids. It's a pleasure to meet all you outsiders. I mean, visitors from Paldea. Man, shut the fuck up. I don't like you. I I'm Kieran. Oh, it's a shy kid. Oh, we got that kid in this game. Carmine and Kieran actually grew up here. So ask them for help if you need anything. And you two had better be of real help. You hear me? Aye, aye. Now that that's, now that that's settled, why don't I tell you all a bit about what we have planned for you? This school trip of yours will be an exercise of orienteering. 
First of all, I'll have you split into pairs. Then each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kitakami. On each signboard, you'll find snippets of an old folktale passed down here in Kitakami. Read them all and learn a bit about our home. To prove you completed a task, we ask that each pair take a snapshot together in front of the signboards with our phone or camera. Take a photo together in front of each of the three signboards to complete your mission. It's a self-guided tour of Kitakami. Learn all about its rich, rich history. Much more fun than sitting around and listening to me, to me ramble on and on, eh? Yeah, because I can find new Pokemon! Oh, and I've got a gift for each of you as well. The... 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 The, the Roto Stick? Oh, it's a selfie stick! Okay, this game is incredible. The selfie stick! Extra distance! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, why do we need this? Because here's the thing. The phone is alive, can't I just tell it- Yo, can you like back up a bit and then take a picture? Thanks. What the fuck? Eureka! It seems like having someone who knows the area well would be a big help. That being said, let's try to maximize the number of inter-school pairs, okay? Dude, you got two people and four people. How do you do that with pairs? You just have like two pairs. You have like two pairs that intermingle with the schools. All right, I guess we have to talk to the other kids. Hello. No one else is talking, by the way. You're poker, whatever. What? Right? Yeah, that's me. Let me guess. You want to pair up with one of us poor, lonely blueberry students? Not really. But you're the one who came to talk to us. What are you, some kind of weirdo? What the fuck, man? So my little brother here has been all googly-eyed over... Game. <laughs> Game. I couldn't stop talking about you, even at home. I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. What are you telling me that for, dummy? I mean, watch what you call dummy if you know what's good for you. Oh, man. See, my brother's no good at talking to people. Yeah, I can tell. Literally me. He'd probably never work up the nerve to ask you himself, but he really like a battle with you. No. I can't believe this. I get to battle you. This is all we met for like... Like three minutes? I think this was designed for you to do it like immediately at the start of the game or something. I'm sure they'll like scale it up later. I think the Sword and Shield DLC had a similar thing. This orienteering thing. We're supposed to group up in pairs, right? You should go ahead and pair up with Kiki then. Uh-oh. What? No, sis. Don't. Uh, it's not like we could pair up. Or were you hoping to partner with some other rando outside? Or some other rando outsider? Probably just get in your way if I stick too close. I'll just follow you from a safe distance. He's quite literally nowhere. That does not look good at all, graphically. Dude, look at those textures. They did not fix the performance. Well, would you look at that? That's the first signboard. Oh, and this kid just magically reappeared. Sorry, did I startle you? I did not mention. I did mention that I hang back and follow you here. We're supposed to read the signboard, right? Yeah. I already know the whole story, so go ahead. You should check it out. It's gonna be like stupid lore. Long, long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. The ogre made its home on the mountain bed in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. By some stroke of luck, Okie Dogi, Monkey Dory, and Fezandipity all happened to be there as well. Three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and send it back to the mountain. In admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon this brave trio the title The Loyal Three. Their remains were given a proper burial, and statues of the three were erected above the site. I don't like the use of erected. Because I just think a penis. The Loyal Three Monument is right over there. Oh yeah, I saw it. But don't you think the ogre in that folktale sounds kind of cool? You think? 
Gonna make. Come on, it was all alone. The battle was three against one, but the ogre still managed to hold its own. That's way cool. Motherfucker, I think that guy was gonna kill everyone in the village. Alright, selfie, let's do it. Yeah, I have a phone. Let, let's do it. Imagine if. Let's go! We got one! Look at that! That turned out great. You're even gonna take in photos. Uh, you wanna try? Oh no, I didn't mean. I'm gonna make this kid feel as awkward as possible. Hey, look! Kitty came to say hi. Kitty wants to see the Pokemon DLC. What do you think of the DLC? You know, I didn't want it to come do this whole school trip thing, but, well, it might actually be kind of fun. I get I get to be out in nature around my hometown and talk to you. If you want, maybe we could set up a picnic. Would you like a sandwich? <gasps> Arvin too. Hey, Kitty. I kind of need to read the text boxes. You guys, you guys aren't here for Pokemon. You guys are here for Cat. Let's have a sandwich. Oh my god, this motherfucker just heard sandwich. Uh, yeah! What is that thing? It's some kind of kaiju or something? This is my- I ride it. It's called Me Ride On. So the next, uh, I- We should go find the next signboard. It's on the grounds of Kitakami Hall. Uh, Kitakami Hall is- Well, first I'll back down- Back to town from here. Then there's this bridge you cross. And from there, you need to climb up the mountainside. Hulling back for now and meet you there later. He didn't make a sandwich! The remains were laid to rest with the people's respect below these very statues. Are they gonna come out of the grave? That's my prediction. They're gonna- Oh my god, that lag. I... What? Dude, that's bullshit. Bullshit, I can't go over here. You should evolve these nuts in your mouth. I'll try. My guy! It's Ducklet! It's Ducklet! Look at this guy! Look at this guy! Smash? Dude, it's a fucking duck! Okay, now this one! This one's a smash! Kieran is just waiting for us. He's falling from a distance. He's like, Motherfucker, you've caught like 10 Pokemon so far. Can you just hurry up? You guys are seeing this as well, right? Highest grossing media franchise in the world. And I'm part of the problem because I bought this like last night. I bought this before people had the time to play it and see if it's actually good. I feel the problem and then get angry with, that the problem exists. Are, are there any more guys around here? I want to stuff some guys in my balls. I volunteer. Oh shit, there's a cave. Yo, look at this. Look at this cave. This is the entire thing. Let's go, we got a moist Pokemon. Oh my god, that lag. Yo! My man! My man! Furret! Oh, it's a girl. My girl, Furret! I didn't realize Vulpix wasn't in base game. Pretty sure Arcanine was, though. That's the second sideboard. Bit tricky to find, huh? No. Sorry, I'm following at a distance, so I, I hope you can get used to me showing up like this. Now then, let's read the sign. The ogre possessed four mysterious, glimmering marks. It is said that depending on the mark the ogre donned, the powers of its cudgel would change. When wearing the teal mask, Oh my god, name drop. It could bring life back into withered greenery around it. When wearing the crimson mask, it could turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno. When wearing the blue mask, it could stop the very flow of, of a river. When wearing the ashen gray mask, it could easily break the heart of stone in two. Before the loyal three fell, they wrestled away three of the ogre's masks, greatly weakening it. Did you read it? No. Oh, what? I have to nod. The masks of the oil three stole are kept over at Kitakami Hall. Everyone in town is sacred to the o is scared of the ogre, but me? I really like it. Sure, it might have eaten the entire village if it, you know, hadn't been scared off, but who cares? It's cool. It was strong and cool and didn't even care when everyone shunned it. 
Always wanted to be like that, ever since I was a kid. You can tell the difference in the energy. When you're on the mountain the story say the ogre lives on, it's actually only mountain. You can climb it from the stairs over there. If you wanted, we could go see the ogre's home. Folks call it the dreaded den. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to go to the dreaded den. Nice loading in. You don't have to if you don't want to, but i really like to show you it, you know? So if you keep climbing up, you'll reach the infernal pass. There's a sign before that. If you turn out the sign, you can get to the dreaded den. Oh! 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 my god. <coughs> I should not do that, dude. That's terrible. It sounds terrible, and I have, like, no breath when I do it. So a lot of this is just gonna be me checking... I did not touch you! Look at this. This has to have some new air Pokemon. Oh! <gasps> My man! Why are the textures on the Pokemon good, but everything else sucks dick and balls? Chat, I got a quick question for you. You see this guy? Oh my god, what the f- Why is this hat so big? Guys, what's the name of this Pokemon? At the start of today, I was like, eh, great, Pokemon DLC. Gonna have to play Pokemon. Alright. Now I'm playing and I'm like, oh my god, I'm having so much fun. Man, I still need to figure out if this is actually good. There it is, the dreaded den. This is supposed to be the ogre's home. At least, that's what everyone says. I come here all the time, but I've never seen it. Maybe a powerful ogre like that would only show up if it heard some kind of battle going on. What, we have to battle again? I think I'm a bit stronger since the last time we battled, so, you know, if you want to, we could battle. We battled like an hour ago. Oh man, I lost! I knew it. You really are strong. How am I ever going to be able to beat you? You won't! If the ogre saw that battle, I'm sure it'd be thinking, that kid's got real strengths. No. Unless you're talking about me, yeah. I... I have all the strengths in the world, baby. I am the king of the splend. I will destroy you in battle every time you even dare to challenge me. You see, my school, Blueberry Academy, is a school that specializes in teaching the art of Pokemon battling. Whoa! A Pokemon battling school? In a Pokemon game? Oh, you gotta be joking! Oh, that's, that's outrageous! It's not like we've had so many schools in the series that do the exact same damn thing! Let's go have a look at the Ogre's Den. What? Why do I have to look at the Ogre's Den? No, 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 no. Nice freeze frame. Oh my god, it's the ogre. Now that I'm more invested in good storytelling, I'm starting to like make more jokes at the expense of Pokemon stories. Living all alone in a place like this would get pretty miserable, don't you think? No. I I stay in my room all day anyway. Who gives a shit? Plenty of room in our house. I would have totally let it stay with us. Uh I don't wanna say either of these. Man, fuck this kid. And I am not moving in. If the ogre really did show up to stay at our place, I'm sure the whole town would freak. Yeah, no shit! The entire legend of your town is just this fucking ogre came by and then he started, like, attacking people. I almost forgot. Today's the first day at the festival of masks over at Kitikami Hall. Oh, how convenient! It's this big event where everyone puts on masks and runs around celebrating. It's not like you gotta go or anything, but if you want to, you know, check it out. Well, it'll be fun. Grandpa, I'm home. Welcome back, Kieran. And who's this with you? Um, uh, yeah, she's part of the school trip with me and Sis. That's right, I am. So this is a friend of yours, eh? I mean, I, I, I'd say so. I'd say we're friends. We're friends? I feel all tingling funny. Dude, what the fuck? Bro, it's just a friend. Is it really already sundown? You just noticed? Goodness me, I nearly forgot. The Festival of Masks starts tonight, doesn't it? Come now. We'll get you some Jin... Jinbei? For you both so you can go to the festival all guised up. Yeah, that? We're gonna dress it... <laughs> we get to dress up in Jinbei. I don't know what that is. I mean, I, I can infer that it's like the outfit they showed in the trailers. Oh, look at that. I imagine a stylish young thing like yourself could make good use of this too. Teal style card. What's that? Having one of these cards increases the selection available to you at boutiques. Oh, 
that's big! That's big! Let's go! I mean, that cart should open up all sorts of new looks for you at the big city shops and salons. Finally, we get something good out of this DLC. Hey, Grand, do you know where am I? Yeah, what are you doing here? She, she said she'd go to the festival of masks me. No, I didn't! I just said I'd go. I didn't say I'd go with you. Oh, really? Is that so? What's the matter anyway? What are you doing back here? All right, Grant, I couldn't find my mask for the festival. It's gonna be like, this is this is Majora's mask. This is Majora's mask too. Oh, the masks, they should be in the shed. I put them there after our last year's festival. Shouldn't be locked, so you could three, you three can go and have a rummage around and see what you find. We're gonna get there and it's gonna be stolen. Please forget those two. They can be a bit rambunctious. You think? You think I couldn't tell? All right, who wants to bet they're stolen? Why do we have to walk five... Dude. I don't get this with Pokemon. They have a cutscene. You walk five steps. And then you get another cutscene. There's gotta be another one. Hello. I walked five steps. Just rolling up like you own the place. Looks like there's only two masks in the shed. Too bad, right? There's nothing I can do about it. Guess you'll just have to do without a mask, eh? First come, first served, and all that. Eh, uh, that's fine. But instead of a mask, I give you a battle in style. Fe no! What? Focus, Sash! What the fuck? You can't do that! Hey, you're supposed to be enamored and distracted by my festival style! Oh man. No buts about it. I can get my own- Exactly! I can get my own mask! Why was it such a big deal? This is a festival of masks. Today's just the first day. It'll keep going for a while. Like, infinitely. <laughs> because that's how the time of day is gonna work. I bet you don't have any festivals this big over in Paldea or whatever, right? So stay silent. Oh no, guess it's so incredible you're at a loss for words, huh? Ah oh, yeah, definitely. Festival of Masks is held so we can all honor the loyal three, the brave heroes of Kitikami. Pokemon that once protected this land from an evil ogre, you know. Yeah, I know, I've been told that. Most of the kids in town wear masks of the loyal three, like me. Did I mention there are heroes? This guy's special, he wears the ogre. What are you laughing at? Just think it's funny that, like, you don't know anything about the ogre. Oh, great poppin. I know the legends of Kitakami better than anybody. Pretty gutsy for you to laugh at your big sis. Sorry. Step right up for a game of ogre ousting. So you want to have a go? Uh, sure. I, if I say no, the game's going to force me to say yes. You're one of those kids that came all the way from Paldea, right? Can't I can't very well take money from a guest. Have a go on the house. What? I'll let cheer you on from a safe distance. You're up for a run of ogre ousting, huh? I did one just now. It's pretty easy for me, that is. 63... 600... I don't know what numbers are. 6,390. How do I play? This frame rate is not good at all. Like, holy shit. Dude, I don't know why... It, they said, like, Pokemon could come steal the food. I have not noticed me ever needing to do that. Because I just hold all the berries with me. Oh, you can... Oh, you can actually, like... You have a max on how many berries you can hold. Okay. Oh my god, dude. How many points was that? I can't keep playing. Dude, I wanted to try that again. Hi, right, Carmine. Masui's reigning champion of Ogre Balloon Busting. Have triumphed. Dude. I wanna... I wanna beat her. Oh. Plot. I, f I forgot about this. I forgot about plot. I got too busy trying to pop balloons and make sure the stupid Squovitz would stop stealing all my damn food. Yes! We win. <laughs> And your score is no longer special. Where'd the guy go? 
I don't think that's where I was. Hey friend, how you doing? Hey little guy, how you doing? Pawn. Mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. Yo, sick mask, bucko. Ponyo. Listen to this, it's nuts. Kiki's no use at all. Zero talent for ousting ogres. I'm telling you. Well, I beat you. I beat your score. On my second go around, but that doesn't matter. I beat your score. Hey, who was that? I don't know. I just complimented her mask, and then, like, you showed up. And now they're gone. Wait. What? Why do I have to wait? Shouldn't run off your own... Dude, I went to follow the kid you scared off. Hey, new kid, this goes for you, too. I don't think this guy's gonna listen to you. Oh, shit. Yo, that's a sick-looking mask. Mind if I wear it? I wanna wear it. Should come back. The mountain's dangerous at night. Are you not shocked that it's, like, not a human? Oh. Yeah, oh, well. I'm sure everything's fine. I'm sure that isn't the ogre that came and, like, tried to eat everyone. I found it. Yo, the teal mask! Look at that. Pattern after the face of an ogre. Ogre pond just dropped it when fleeing up the stairs after visiting the Festival of Masks. where that kid come? Dude, that wasn't a... I don't think it's a kid. I think you're stupid. Your stupid ass is like, oh, that kid looked kind of... What, what's, what's up with that kid? What are you talking about? Wait, do you mean the kid we just saw that ran off toward the mountain? Could they have been the ogre from the story on all the signboards? Maybe. Oh, wouldn't that be a twist? Are you saying that story was true? I thought, I thought it just always was. Is there is there doubt that it's true? Have I missed a detail? They did drop a mask. So they really must be. What is it? What are you guys doing over here? Uh, we... Uh, well, there's an ogre here, and... Hey, wait, stop, stop, stop. What? You can't silence me. Why are you yelling all of a sudden? It's nothing. It's nothing you'd be interested in at all. She's lying, chat. She's lying. Oh, I get it. Bet you're making fun of me behind my back. Yeah. You haven't told anything anybody about the, you know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? What thing? Come on, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We bumped it to the ogre. You fucking idiot. You get angry at me when I spill stuff. When I spill the beans and then you do it. Ah, uh, yes, the yogurt. I can't believe I forgot about the yogurt. Well, show the thing. Take a... Hey, good morning. He's awake, huh? Well, I guess we can't do it anymore. Want to go see the last signboard? Go find some some place else to be. Dude, that's kind of rude. Seriously? She's spending all her time with you? That's so unfair. You can be such a jerk. Look, we just have important matters about a uh, yogurt. We got more important things to discuss, right? You gotta show Grandpa that thing you have. Check out this adventure guide. This mask, it belongs to the poor ogre. Where did you find this? He bumped into it, the ogre I mean. Yesterday at the Festival of Masks. He just kind of showed up. I tried talking to it all nice and everything, but I dropped that mask and yeah. Look, the, og the ogre was fine being with us until you showed up. I just need to go alone perfectly fine. Ogre is fine with me because I'm the main character. Never would have thought that the ogre would still be gracing our festival with his presence. What do you mean, gracing? Didn't it try to, like, eat everyone? What do you mean, still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel that attacked a village. I suppose I th it's time I told you. You see, everything you've known up to now has been a lie. <laughs> what do you mean? 
You hear this too, you also met the poor ogre, or Ogapon, that is rightly named. Let me tell you the true story, it's passed down through our family for generations. Okay, this is kind of silly. We were in a conversation with this guy. And he's like, now it's time I told you the truth. And then the game kicked me back at the gameplay. Just so I can press A to talk to him. So that he is then going to tell me. What the fuck is the point of that? A long, long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kitakami from a foreign land. The people of the village feared the man and the ogre looked so different from them so they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village ah so they're like the villagers are the bad people they hated them because they didn't look like them fucking racist the man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them but they were happy just to have each other they settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. And there, they met up with Zubats and Geodudes. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers, the village mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. The masks were brilliant works, adorned with gems. The man brought from somewhere far away. Paldea? By wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. What, so that's supposed to make them look more natural? The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. Also, now people accept them. Wearing the masks, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festival. The mysterious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, even to distant lands. That's why you've never heard of them before. The rumors of exquisite, shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. They were murdered. A group of greedy Pokemon soon ma made their way to the land of Kitakami. These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived. They tried to make off with some masks, which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on for, to one of the masks. But he was not strong enough to protect them all. Pokemon st stole the other three masks. And he died several hours later when the ogre returned to the cave. He found his beloved home in ruin. Although his left were the signs of a struggle and a teal mask. Did the man die? What is with this game? And talking about death. The ogre donned that mask and went down to the village, perhaps in search for its friend. They found the greedy Pokemon there, gloating over their stolen masks, and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening, nor why. Yeah, understandable. All they saw was the raging ogre, and they felt great fear. The villagers thought the three Pokemon had fallen in trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice. The villagers named them the Loyal Three and interred them with care. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave, alone and with great sadness. Damn, that sucks. Who wants to predict that by the end of the DLC, you know, the truth will spill out, all the villagers will turn against the other Pokemon... The ogre will be joined with the society, heralded as the true hero. I noticed the jewel on his forehead was chipped. Oh no, I might be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving the mask with me for a little while? I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't know how I'd be carrying it around without other people seeing. Maybe he got chipped and fell down the stairs. Maybe. It's his grandpa's offering. Let's get it all nice and fixed up before we give it back to Ogre Pond. Alright, I guess... I guess now we go. Oh, he heard. Whoa. -oh. I really hope the next Pokemon game is like actually good. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. At the final sign, there's a Paradise Barrens. 
Pretty lonely place, huh? According to the old legends, Yogur used to be seen around here lots. Okay, before we check out the sign, could you battle me? Sure. Hey, I'll do- I'll battle you. Let me pull up Pokemon. I don't need healing, but sure, thanks. We're just gonna destroy this guy. And we win. Because I'm weak. That's why I... He's clenching his fist. He's gonna go into his ultimate form. Let's go check out the sign. Come on, let's get this over with. If you see a shadowy figure approaching you outside the village at twilight, be wary. Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so, and whether the shadow is man or monster, you'll pass each other by as a fellow mask wearers. If you should meet the shadow when you have no mask in hand, then pray it is only a man. If it is, you will live to see another day, and you'll remember to never forget your mask again. But if, is it, if it is an ogre, you'll meet your end, as do all humans whose faces are seen by it. Once it sees your face, your soul will be forfeit. You should never return to the village. In the old days, everyone carried masks wherever they went, and the one who made those masks was actually my great-great-great-grandpa's great-great-great-grandpa, or something. So the stories are true? I mean, I don't think that any of the stuff about the ogre stealing souls is true or anything. I hope not, because I saw it, but it is true that our family used to make masks. He does not care at all. I don't even look like I care anymore. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to fix Dear Ogre Pond's mask, but I need one more material if I want to do a proper job of it. Crystal clutter from the bottom of the crystal pool. We could just return the mask as it is, but I think it would make Ogre Pond really happy if we fixed it up first. I bet it would. Wow, look at that. Crystal pool, bet you didn't expect it to be so pretty, huh? Crystals here are always shining. Isn't that strange? It's even a weird rumor that you could meet people here who've passed away. Uh-oh. Earthquake. Uh, someone's having a Pokemon battle nearby. There's nothing there. Oh, hey. Hello. Crystal clutter. How convenient. The energy coming from the crystals at the bottom of the pool. I knew it. What are you doing here? Miss Breer! Hi there, Carmine. I thought you were paired with other students. Did you decide to switch things up? This place is actually pretty special. I'm not a big fan of outsiders just wandering up around here. I'm worried this is sacred ground, yes. I did get permission from the caretaker, though. Was that not sufficient? Well, I mean, I just kind of strolled up here the first time around, so I, I think you're fine. Why do you come here? Crystals! Crystal mass! Oh, just doing a bit of field research. I was interested in the properties of the water here. And well, my hunch was on the money. You see, the crystal pool's water emits energy of the same wavelength as terrestrial energy. Whoa! I had no idea why that is. I'm so sorry. What? What happened? Kieran, he... He ran off with the mask. Oh, fuck. What is it? What in the world do you think you're doing? You two knew, didn't you? You knew that the ogre wasn't the real bad guy in the stories. Loyal 3, they were the real bad guys, but the ogre's the one who got treated like an outcast. You act like you didn't know anything, but you were laughing at me behind my back all along. It's not what happened at all. It very much is. Liar! You're a liar! Thanks for the mask. Say hello to the ogre. I should apologize for it. I'm going home. Oh, we don't even get to apologize anymore. Oh, they're gonna reanimate. Their corpses are coming back, dude. Well, that's not good. Who opened up a new dark world? Ah, shit. Ah, they're back. Well, what do we do now? What was that all about? The Pokemon from the old folk tale. Crazy. Is that fence supposed to be on the ground? Hey, you're right. There were three of them, and they looked all s sinister. That's gotta be them. 
The story said they were laid to rest under the statues. What brought them back to life? Just trying to remember who I have. Wait a minute. What? Oh shit. <laughs> Would you look at that? We got a shiny centret. Hello. Ah, if it isn't Poke, the only if only you'd been here a few minutes earlier. So if all these three Pokemon come here? If you mean the loyal three? Um, actually. I forgot about the silly title. Always with your attitude. Yes, you did mess out on an incredible treat. The loyal three were just visiting our humble little hall. As if they wished to collect the shiny mask we kept safe here at Kitakami Hall. So naturally, re representatives of the hall were happy to return the masks to them in all, with all haste. Uh oh! You gave them the masks? And we offered them a platter of our special Kitakami mochi, packed full of our best herbs. The loyal three gobbled them up in a flash. And you fed them? Kitakami mochi are full of nutrition. The loyal three are bigger and stronger now, I'm sure. Bigger and stronger? Hey! Get away! Alright, sure, right. Um, am I gonna have to catch them now? Can I catch them now? Oh, well, now the others are gonna come in. Now I gotta fight them all. Knock it off, all of you. Oh, now we're getting help. They're trying to go three against one on you, huh? I guess a fair fight's too much to expect. Now that we're here, like you were ever coming back to life. Why did they come back to life? That's what I want to know. They ran away. You could have stopped them. Why does it trust me more than it trusts you guys? I'm the new one. Why is it not wearing its mask? Hey, buddy. Here's the one that flies, Pheasantipity. Maybe you're wrong about this, but is it going to be bigger than when we last saw it? Oh, is it going to be a, like a totem battle? Or a titan? Titan, bring this one down. Alright. Look, it dropped a mask. How convenient. We get a photo for that? I don't have any idea... For once, Crocky is in trouble. Okay, but we beat this guy. That makes two masks back to where they belong. Okay, no idea what type of this guy is gonna be. Looks like that move sunk. Guess it must have hit somewhere sensitive. What the feet? Yes, excellent move. Keep. <laughs> it just did two dialogue boxes like back to back because we got a crit on a super effective hit. Congratulations, Ogre Pond, and good work. We got all the masks back. Let's go. Alright. Cool. Now what? Really don't want to be here, do you? I'd imagine so. Don't worry, it'll be fine. How do you know this? What's all this about, really? I know you must be scared, Ogre Pond, but I did my best. So just trust me and come with me, okay? Come on. I've talked it over with the people, and they're all gonna be completely fine with you now. So that's the ogre, ogre pawn. It's actually real? Hey, you're fine. Don't worry. So this is the ogre of Oni Mountain. This is a true face of ogre pawn, whom we've so sorely wronged. Uh, I, pr I knew it for far too long. We've told tales casting you as the villain here at Kitakami. We all owe you a great apology. Kieran's been running around the whole village to everyone the true story of what happened. I was worried he'd stirred up a lot of resentment, so I told him to stop, but... Everyone believed him. When they didn't before. Seems like I was wrong to worry so much. Dude, this plot, this is crazy. This is silly. You knew Kiki had it in him. Especially since he usually hates talking to people. Me! Literally me. From now on, you can come to the village whenever you want. And you don't need to hide your face when you do. Yo, he looks so happy. Oh, I love this guy. I suddenly have the urge to buy a plushie. It's 
bit lonely out here, but I guess this place must mean a lot to Ogre Pond. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Oh, now he wants to be with us. And you know what? I think Ogre Pond might want to go. Yep. <laughs> Fucking knew it, dude. Hey, hold up. Oh, no. If it's not gonna stay here, then I, I wanna- I wanna Ogre Pond to come with me. Motherfucker, I need the- for the Pokedex. No, I'm being real selfish, but please. Let me battle you. I wanna see which one of us should get- You have never come close to beating even one of my Pokemon. No, you really love Ogre Pond. I really honestly understand. But you have to think about Ogre Pond's feelings, too. Yeah, idiot. I want to battle anyway. Man! What if I just boxed all but one of my Pokemon? And see- Let's see if we can still beat him. Alright. You just have to take down my one Pokemon. But you're not gonna do that, because you're gonna have, like, Yon Mega. Whoever wins gets to be Ogre Pond's partner. Really, I think it's just a case of- how much can we outspeed? Guess luck isn't on my side, but it doesn't matter. I got this. You literally have to do, like, 80 more damage. And then you win. Alright, a little close, but... I gave myself as big of a handicap as I could. Figures. Dude, like... Dude, like, falls over, slams the ground, and he's just like, fierce. He's just like, he does that, and he's like, oh, man. What the fuck? Terrestrialize this mask, so this, this is what Ogre Pond's really capable of. What the fuck? Memories of adventuring with you grant Ogre Pond strengths. Oh, it's gonna be like this. Okay. I think that's everything Ogre Pond's got. Now's your chance to catch it. Alright, what kind of ball? Dusk Ball fit fits it, I'd say. Hi, kitty. Well, would you look at that? Kitty came to say hi to the Pokemon. Why is it lagging the text? Why is the text box lagging? Congratulations. And I'll take good care of it. Because you wouldn't. Yeah. Why you... Why can't I be like you? Because I'm cool and awesome and you are not. Loser. You really battled great yesterday. Thanks. No, Kiki. Well, he shut himself in his room ever since he got home yesterday. He won't come out? Yeah. I love when it gives you the two choices on what you could say, yet they mean like the same thing. Okay, you don't need to feel guilty or anything. It all started because I said we should keep the whole Ogre Pond thing a secret. You wouldn't think it, but Kiki got a bit of an ego too. It doesn't take losing well. How's Ogre Pond doing? Uh, rotting in my box. I'll be honest, I've grown really fond of Ogre Pond myself. Guess Kiki's rubbed off on me a bit. Dude, it's going to be rotting in my box forever. You're never going to see it. You could let me have a battle with Ogre Pond? Sure, because I have to for the story. Is the game going to force me to do the battle with... Ogre Pond? Can I just not use it? Lost, oh, but I'm also not surprised. You and Ogre Pond really do get along, don't you? It almost makes me jealous. I didn't use it. I didn't use it in battle. And it's like, wow, Ogre Pond's so cool. I actually, um... This is awkward to tell you, but I... Ah, uh, well, too bad. Thank you for coming. I've been told that our student pairs have now finished visiting all the signboards in Kitakami. Which means you're self-guided towards that its end. 
We found them all! Wow, we did it! Truth be told, I didn't think you'd wrap up the tour this quickly. You're quite the prodigies. Our visitors from Paldea still have heaps of time left to enjoy Kidakami and all it has to offer. It's continue to make yourself at home and explore as you please. However, sorry for suddenly springing this on you, but Carmine, Kieran, I'll need you to return to the Blueberry Academy a little earlier. Oh no! I'm yeah, truly sorry, but there have been some developments concerning the Great Crater. I'm afraid. The Great Crater? Yo! Oh my god, we're gonna get some lore. I'm afraid we must be heading back. I realize I was here as your chaperone, but you kids have all proven to be very capable. I'm sure you'll be fine without me. Thank you so much for looking after them in my stead. Blueberry Academy has a ton of strong trainers. You better come visit soon. I will in December 2023. I need to become. I need to become a lot stronger. Uh oh. It's gonna become a villain. Stronger, 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 and stronger, and stronger. He goes through his. He's gonna go through a training montage. Just you wait. What do you mean? He's, is he gonna be the villain of Gen 10? To be continued. What the fuck? There's something alright. I got a bunch of good shots of you in action, too. You might have what it takes to own, hold your own against the Blood Moon Beast. What? Certain Ursa Luna I've been searching for. It's known as the Blood Moon Beast. There's an Ursa Luna here? It's a Pokemon that usually has this big yellow mark on its forehead resembling a full moon. But I say this one's mark is red. A red moon, as if seen through a veil of blood. Look at those shadows. Yeah, I think I could piece together why it's called the Blood Moon Beast. I used to live in my homeland way back when people still called the region Hisui. Yo! Seems like it crossed, crossed over the waters here to Kitakami at some point and made itself comfy. If the two work on, the two of us work together, I bet we could be the ones to finally find and snap a shot of it. And if we do, kiddo, partner, let's tackle this together. Sure. I knew you'd be up for it. And don't worry, I'll be sure to reward your hard work. Where has it the Blood Moon Beast has been seen in an area northeast of Oni Mountain called the Timeless Woods? I'll head that way now and wait for you there. Come on, Growlithe. First of all, if we go all the way over here... Yes. We just have Jock over here. Hello. Enjoying that school trip, how are you? Why are you... I came to check in on how you're doing. I am your homeroom teacher, after all. Once I got here, I decided to do a bit of research on the Pokemon of Kitakami, and... Oh, that's right, sorry. I got so engrossed in my own research that I actually forgot to come find you, didn't I? Well, how about I make up... My... How about I make up for it by treating you to a picnic? I thought something like this might happen, so I borrowed all the usual picnic stuff from Director Clavel. Oh, that's nice. Could there be something in my basket? Feast your eyes on that! A Pokemon egg appeared in the basket. Quite the mystery, isn't it? I only brought Gulp into this picnic with me, and yet... Did you put the egg in the basket? I can't get anything past you, can I? I'm too smart for you. You know about the Pokemon eggs you can find during picnics, right? Whenever a trainer doesn't have the means to care for an egg they find, they can have it sent to the academy when we'll take care of it. But then I thought, say, wouldn't it be better to have a great trainer raise the Pokemon instead? So I brought this egg with me. And now it's yours. This can hatch into one of three Pokemon. I'll leave that a secret until it actually hatches. So off the stream, I have grinded through the entire Pokedex and caught almost all of the new Pokemon that we don't have yet. Except for these four at the end. Ursaluna, Okie dokie, Monkey Dory, and Fezandipity. Anyway, it's right around this part of the forest where people have supposedly seen the Blood Moon Beast. Curiously, all the sightings have been on nights with heavy fog. Okay, that actually looks cool as hell. Holy shit. I want you to take photos of the Pokemon that appear around here on foggy nights. 
looking for lots of pictures of a good variety of Pokemon. After a while, I'll register your photo data into my handy po Pokemon searcher. All right, Phil, it's time for Pokemon Snap. Wait. You guys hear that? Dude, it's like, it's a theme from Legends Arceus. For like, Eterna Forest. Holy shit. It fucking... It despawned for like half a second. That hit we got in the Pokemon Searcher came from somewhere around here. You know, the forest isn't that big. We could have just looked on our own. We didn't have to use the searcher. It's awfully quiet. These mean the same thing. What's the point? Oh, well, there it is. Are those footsteps? Whatever's making them must be huge. Oh, would you look at that? Right, my camera. Just got a good little beast and stay right there while I snap a photo. Well, that's not a... That's not a good thing. Fine, I'll deal with it on my own. Oh shit, the music. Yeah, that is, that was just Legends Arceus. Oh, and this growl of mine has a younger brother that really loves battling. I think he'll do a better job of raising it good and strong. Oh, so we just, we just get a different Growlis. Raise it to be real strong, okay? I think that about wraps it up. I did what I came here to do, so I guess I should hit the road. I'm afraid this is goodbye. But you know, Growlithe like, but you know, Growlithe like these are known for living and working together in pairs. Even if they are separated for a while, I bet their paths might just cross again someday. So you raise that one with care in the meantime. What is this hinting towards? Perrin is gonna show up in like the Gen 5 remakes that are coming out next year, definitely. And then the expectation is that you put them both into one game for Pokemon Home. And then you're gonna get like a secret cutscene or something. That That's the kind of thing Pokemon does. I do like when they do that, it's fun. There we go. Okay, so this egg. It is hatching, and what's it gonna hatch into? Oh, it's a Piplup. This can hatch into any of the three Sinnoh starters. I believe which one it is, is random. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. Dude, legendaries are so easy to catch. There we go. Ba -ba -da -da. All right, final Pokemon of the Teal Mask. There we go. And with that, the Pokedex is done. Really not that challenging to do this. Probably because half of the Pokedex were Pokemon we already had from base game. Hello, hello. It's like you caught 200 kinds of Pokemon that can be found around the land of Kitakami. Wait, are you telling me you caught them all? Wow. Wow! A complete Kitakami Pokedex! This is great! No, you're great! Thanks to all your hard work, I don't think there's anything more to be done when it comes to surveying the Pokemon love here in Kitakami. I really wish I had something to give you to commemorate all your effort. Oh, I know. I'll give you this charm I got at Kitakami Hall. It's a limited edition souvenir they only sell here. Glimmering charm. Increases the number of shards you'll receive from terror raid battles. Interesting. Oh, and can you show you me your Rotom phone for a second? Thanks to the diploma feature Def Director Clavel helped with, we could celebrate your achievement in style. See, you can get a special message from the company that certifies Pokedex completion. 
There's a company that does that in the world. Imagine being the company that just like... Uh... Imagine being the company in the Pokemon world that just sits back and does nothing. But then like, once like a like max like two times a year, you have to give out a diploma. This is all you're ha you have to do with your life. We hereby certify your achievement of completing the Kitakami Pokedex. May this great feat be celebrated by all. So there is a bit more that you can do. Uh, you can, if you wanted to, um, you can do Ogre Ousting. There's more levels to it, and if you complete it on hard, you get a shiny Munchlax. And while the shiny Munchlax is cool, I don't feel like it's doing it right now. Like, we already have Munchlax in the Pokedex. I can get it at any time. Plus, it's also really difficult, apparently. Which, I mean, makes sense, you know? It's, like, just giving away a shiny. You gotta work for it. It was... So, overall, the DLC was... It was fine. Well, honestly, not worth the price at all, but we got another pack coming. Performance issues galore. The game still looks bad. The story was fine. Uh, not really the biggest fan of what Pokemon they decided to introduce. But that might just be me. And, like, that just might be me and my preferences. Anyway, yeah. I'll, I guess we'll just put this game down until Indigo Disc.